Hey guys, it's Sylvia here. I'm so excited to be filming my favorite fall lipsticks today. I picked nine different products, uh, both drugstore and high end, because I feel like you can find great formulas in both. Just depends on your personal preference. So what we're going to be doing is I will be applying each shade, we'll be discussing the formula and showing you guys some swatches as well. Kind of like explaining why I like the lipstick. So we do have different finishes. We have some matte lipsticks, we have some uh, lipsticks with more shiny finish and more satin as well. We have liquid lipsticks, we have regular lipsticks. So all types of is just a all big mix up. But uh, the shades I feel, uh, I think personally that the shades are so gorgeous that, you know, it doesn't really matter. And I also didn't want to make this video too long and pick too many lipsticks, so I really just decided to stick to the nine. So if you guys want to see the swatches and the reviews, uh, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first lipsticks I'm absolutely excited about and I have to talk about it first is the one that I'm wearing on right now. And it's the uh, Rimmel Provocalypse in shade... Um, heartbreaker oh my goodness guys I just discovered these lipsticks recently and I'm totally obsessed I love love finding a good drugstore um, gem and this, these lipsticks are definitely very much uh, long wearing they I mean they, they don't have the most moisturizing formula but they are they don't feel drying at all and this shade that I'm wearing today is like a perfect muted like a brownish red oh so pretty perfect for fall next lipstick i want to mention is actually a liquid lipstick from kylie cosmetics and it's the shade autumn and i would say it's like a very muted coral shade so it definitely has a warm undertone but i think it's absolutely beautiful it's more I would say subtle, it's not bold lipstick, it's something that you can wear every day, but at the same time it has this really pretty undertone, perfect for fall. I remember seeing this lipstick online and I immediately knew I had to get it. Highly Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick Formula, if you guys are familiar with it, I don't really have to say anything about it. This one has been on my favorite fall lipsticks list since I believe last year when I got it. If the lightning seems a little bit off, it's because I had to uh, finish later in the day because my son woke up from his nap. So uh, next lipstick I'm absolutely obsessed for the fall is the uh, Pixie Beauty uh, Matte Last Liquid Lip in Berry Beauty. I think it's such a flattering lipstick. It's definitely a little bit bolder. It's a little bit darker. It has this flat matte finish. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the applicator because... I mean, it looks kind of cute, but it's very uh, flexible. So when you're trying to get precise, especially with like the darker shades, I find it a little bit more difficult. And that's why I usually use a pencil. I have to use a lip liner with this shade. But overall, I think it's a gorgeous shade for fall. So the next lipstick I find absolutely beautiful and I love to wear during the fall is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Queen. I just hope it, the camera will show off the real shade because it is a warmer tone red but it's not too yellow it's like the perfect I feel like it's like the perfect mix of undertones and it feels extremely flattering I absolutely love red lipsticks overall but this one in particular for fall because of this like warmer tone the formula is beautiful it has a matte finish but it feels very comfortable on the lips it's very it still feels hydrating it doesn't feel drying it is a little bit pricey but i feel like it's worth every penny so this lipstick is actually my newest find and it's from laura mercier and it's called Lure extreme matte lipstick beautiful formula very lightweight i really like the um the, the, the form of a pencil because you don't really need any lip liner with it and I think the uh, this shade is really flattering it has like a nice I would say berry undertone to it it almost looks a little bit purplish in like different lighting it's one of my newest uh, finds so now we're slowly turning into a little bit of a darker shades I still find this one to be particularly very flattering and I think the reason is because it's lightweight formula and that's the uh, Boxum Pillow Poot. I never know how to, how to um, read this. That's the uh, Creamy Plumping Lip Powder in Seduce Me. I love these lipsticks. They apply more like a powder. I don't know. It's, like a, it's really interesting because the applicator is kind of very unusual. Very... Uh, 
very distinct, something that I've uh, I've never seen before, and it's like a nice, very soft cushion, and I think the powder actually comes from the tip of the uh, packaging, and uh, Seduce Me is a very pretty, a little bit darker shade for fall. It has a matte finish, but because it's very lightweight, it's almost like a powder only on your lips. It doesn't feel very drying or it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. If you're going for the bolder lip and you don't want like a heavy formula, I feel like you would really like these. So another red lipstick that I picked for today's video is from Urban Decay and it's called Love Drunk. I just wanted to compare it with the Charlotte Tilbury. This one is definitely more cool toned. It's more of a berry red, it's very comfortable matte finish not very flat it almost has a little bit of sheen to it but i think it's absolutely stunning and it's one of my favorite lipsticks and i actually talk about it in best of urban decay video if you guys want to check it out i will link the uh, video up here for you to see as you guys can tell we are definitely swatching darker and darker shades and this is the urban decay cherry shade this is the uh, vice lipstick as well and i think it's absolutely beautiful it has it's the, the finish is called cream so it has some shine to it but at the same time i feel like even though it's a very dark shade i think it's still really awesome definitely perfect for fall i would say one of the sh the darkest shades that i picked for today's video not for everyone totally understand but if you like dark lipsticks i think you will absolutely love this one and the last lipstick is from laura mercier it's the shade plum fatale fatale and it's a beautiful dark plum it's very similar to urban decay but the, the finish is a little bit less shiny this one feels even more lightweight and more creamy and more hydrating i know it's a little bit on the pricier side but this entire line and i did a swatch of every single shade from this collection from laura mercier these lipsticks are amazing the formula is so nice very comfortable to wear and i feel like every single shade is very flattering including even the darkest one as you guys can tell it is a dark lipstick but i feel like it's still such a gorgeous dark plum everyone can rock it honestly i feel like you know dark lipsticks are so beautiful and they really just bring the attention to your face i mean i love them so this one is definitely one of my favorite lipsticks for fall and also the last one i picked for and as i was filming my son woke up a little bit earlier than usual i hope you guys enjoy my picks for the fall and i would love to know yours as well because i'm always on the lookout for a good fall lipstick so just let me know in the comments below otherwise have a great day bye